Hi everyone, my name is Arnel Castillo, and welcome to another In Motion Hosting video tutorial. Today we're going to be going over another two-factor authentication plugin for WordPress. And this one is called WP 2FA WordPress, and it's by WP White Security. So right now I'm going to go ahead and install it and activate it. Now once you've installed and activated the plugin, the first thing you'll see, if the plugin has never been installed on your WordPress site before, is a wizard screen and it'll take over your entire screen just like you see here and you can go through the wizard it'll take you through the welcome and then select uh, uh, methods and then help you finish setting up a policy for your two-factor authentication use or you can skip it and then just go through the settings and in this case what I'll do is I'll go ahead and skip the wizard and we'll look through the settings and do this manually and then here you can see the WP2FA has added a menu item to the main menu for your WordPress installation. And you can see the policies here and the settings for those policies. So in the settings is where you set up the policy for your users so that they are, are required to use them. So when you first get in and you're setting up WP2FA manually, you'll need to select the method for the authentication. And WP2FA allows you to authenticate either through a TOTP uh, authenticator like Google Authenticator. Um, that's a, basically it's an application that runs on your smartphone or some other mobile device. And they also let you use what's called a hash-based one-time password or HOTP through email. So both of these are selected by default. You can say, I don't want to use one or the other. Um, there are secondary or backup methods, basically, just in case you don't have your, your authenticator and or you don't have access to email. And then they can also set up um, codes that you can download and use those in case you can't get in any other way. Now, the next part is for enforcing 2FA for some or all users. And here you can enforce it for all users, only specific users, and particular roles within your WordPress installation. Or you could just say it's just optional. So if you say do not enforce on any users, then it's up to them to be able to set it up if they want to use it. If you exclude users or roles, if you say, hey, I only want to use some, then you would need to specify either the user or the role, and you would type those in. And you can also go down here if you're enforcing to a all users, but you want to exclude specific people, you can create exclusions here. The third part is asking if you want to set up 2FA instantly or should they have a grace period. The grace period basically allows people to get in and set up 2FA so that they have some period of time where they can set it up. So you, if you say they have a seven day period or three hour period, you can do this in hours and days in uh, WP2FA, then in that period of time, they don't need to use um, 2FA until it's been set up. It just gives them time to set it up. If you want to enforce it right away, they don't have a uh, grace period. And you can see here that it immediately asks if you want to exclude yourself. And I'm going to exclude myself just so I can get to this tutorial for now. Do you want to redirect the users to a specific page? Now, this is one of the neat features of WP2FA. So if you have um, users who need to be uh, uh, informed about what 2FA is, you can create a page in your website. And then instead of just jumping straight into the login or without any explanation whatsoever, once they finish their setup for 2FA, they'll be redirected to a page that gives them information about it. Another unique feature that WP2FA includes is the option for users to access the WP dashboard, the WordPress dashboard, or if you have a custom profile page, uh, the creation of a custom page that only authenticated users can access to configure their two-factor authentication settings. The final option in the free version of the WP2FA is the option to allow users to disable 2FA on their profile. So you can actually hide the button so they cannot remove it if you don't want them to be able to to remove 2FA or you can leave it as it is which is by default enabled so that they can actually remove 2FA if you want them to be able to do that. Once you finish setting up all the options for WP2FA you can click on save changes and that will save the policy. So once you have the policy changed what you'll need to do next is to actually configure your user. Now, once you've done the policy, 
you'll normally see a indication uh, or notification at the top of the screen uh, in the dashboard that it tells you that you need to set up your user if you haven't done so already. And uh, there will be a link at the top. But what we'll do right here is we'll log out of the administrator so that you can see what happens when you try to log in if you hadn't configured already. And you can see at the top of the dashboard, the notification that says, hey, you have until this date to configure 2FA. And again, there's a reminder until the grace period is up. So right now I have a three day grace period to configure 2FA. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it right now. And here you can see the option, how you wanna get your code to verify it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the, um, the authenticator. And I'm gonna click on the next step. And here with the authenticator, the Google Authenticator has a plus sign in the bottom right hand corner, and it has an option to scan the code or enter the key that you can see right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan the code. And as soon as you scan the code, it does it really fast. It sets up the, the account on your phone or your device, whatever mobile device you're using with the uh, Authenticator and puts it on your screen. So I can say I'm ready because I've already scanned it. And here now I have to type in an authentication code from what was just created. So it's gonna be a six digit number in this case. And I can validate and save. And there you go. So here you can see that I've set up 2FA for this user. So while we're in here looking at the user, let's go ahead and look down the profile and um, this profile, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see the, the option here for two-factor authentication. I'm going to go ahead and log out once again. And I'm going to log in again to see how 2FA works. So, And here you can see the warning that says we're using 2FA. And I'm going to go ahead and break out the uh, Google Authenticator and look for the account and find the number that's being generated and then enter that code. And there you go. 2 fa is working here. Thanks for listening to this tutorial. Please provide any comments and feedback below. If you liked this tutorial, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Check out our InMotion Hosting Support Center for help with your website. We provide thousands of step-by-step -step guides, videos, and much more to lead you towards making your online project a successful one. You can find us at www.inmotionhosting.com support.